There are a couple of different issues here. One is Monument Avenue, which had been around for, what, over a century, in some, some case 130 years, with, with the big Robert E. Lee statue. And look, I, I, if somebody says to me, I abhor the Confederacy and I don't admire Robert E. Lee, I would ask, have you read about Robert E. Lee? Do you, do you think objectively you know anything about this person? Or are you, snap judgment, uh, good, bad, Confederacy, versus the United States of America, and that, that's, that's how I'm judging this person. Um, you know, if the answer is no, I haven't really read anything, but I'm just gonna make a black or white discernment on this, literally and figuratively. Okay, uh, you know, we destroyed Monument Avenue deliberately. Uh, I think that is a cultural loss for us, and I do think intellectually it's a loss because I, I can personally tell you that people have visited me in Richmond and Monument Avenue has served on my little tour of the city. You know, here's where we go drink beer, but before we do that, let me show you Monument Avenue. It is it has sparked very lively conversation about both the, the founding of the country, the Civil War era, which, like it or not, Richmond, that's just a part of the history. It's not made up. It's not like somebody's hanging a picture on a wall that doesn't belong there. I mean, it's a part of the history of this, this area. We've wiped that away. I think that's a big mistake. Um, and I look at other parts of the world where the, the heads of the, of the kings are chopped off. And you're, you know, today you go to the museum and they say, well, you know, this is this king, but he doesn't have his head because they chopped the head off. And it's such a shame because, you know, based on the descriptions, it was a wonderful depiction of that king. Now we don't know what the king looks like. And I was, all, I was so shocked in Richmond that the same people who would have given me that tour in the museum and lamented that loss from 500 years ago were silent as that type of behavior was occurring in their own time in this city. So I, I love monuments. We just unveiled a freedom monument here in Richmond. I think that's a part of the story that should be told. I think the emancipation of African uh, slaves in this society is one that should be told and celebrated. I'm all for it. I just wish that we hadn't indulged, I think, the ugly side of cleansing uh, our, our public square because I think there is a story to be told.